Welcome to Wandering Wanda. This is Walter. And I'm Muriel. And we're in Moorfeld and Waldorf, which is outside of Frankfurt. Uh, my friend of several decades lives here in Waldorf. And so we've come to dinner at a restaurant right next to this RV park. So we're just going to walk through. Well, he's parking the car. I just want to see what the utility... Oh, there isn't any. They're just parking the car and these look like permanent places. They're 110 amps. Oh, they're 110 amps. They're 110 amps. They're 110 amps. There's no, there's no sewer. There's no water. Yeah, there's no sewer or water. Bernd? Bernd! <laughs> Where's the beer garden? <laughs> Away from the dog. Oh no, he was just doing a video of the park. That's what he does. So, where do you want to... Where are we eating? Here, there? Over there. Let's go where... Just get away from the dirt. <laughs> okay, I'm having a meatloaf, but it looks like a pork chop, which is fine. With an egg and potatoes. Oh, horseradish. <laughs> ah, yes. And Berndt is having a schnitzel. Yeah. And Walter is not eating. I'm having the ribs. Oh, oh. Thank you. What is that? Okay, okay these ooh. are pork ribs. They're pork ribs. With mashed potatoes and. Oh my goodness, he does have a nice car. <laughs> yeah, we just got yelled at. Oh, that's fine. We don't care. <laughs> Hello. Come on. <laughs> Give me a hug. <laughs> you do have a nice car. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's not uh, um, with air conditioning, of course. So it's too, the place for you is too less behind. The next time I hope I have a four seater with air conditioning oh, no, and okay. you are. Yeah, it's important. It's, okay. it's, it's okay. important. <laughs> I had a good day. <laughs> yeah, we had also a good day. We went to the Rhine upstairs. So okay. the weather was today not as hot. Um, we had uh, cloudy skies, but warm, but okay. not too hot. So it was okay, okay from, good. from driving. Okay. And uh, yeah, so I uh, tomorrow I will visit, visit Eric in the hospital because okay, I haven't good. seen him for I a long time. I hope he gets better. I hope, yeah. But I heard yes. I heard. Okay. Good. Looks good. good. And um, so tomorrow I wish you Pleasant stay in yes, London. Yes, thank okay. you. You, you have to come to Las Vegas. Uh, I will do. Okay. And we, I will come with a car from the Eastern Coast. Okay. <laughs> okay. Because I want to take the same road like you do. Okay. Route from, 66. From Eastern Coast to Chicago and then Route 66 okay. down okay. to Okay. Okay. Yeah. Just send us a text. Historic road. Yes. Yeah. Send us a text and let us know how Eric's yeah. doing. Okay. Yes. So, I'll okay. Tell you guys. Thank See you. you. Hey. We might not get to the hotel until 7. And then we're going to take a cab from the hotel to the theater on the south side of the Thames. Apparently it's next to the aquarium and the London Eye. I don't think we're going to make it. <laughs> oh well. If not, we'll just have dinner somewhere. Okay, here we are. Just waiting for luggage. Quarter to six. Awaiting bags. I am no longer enjoying international travel. This has just been one mishap after another. I don't, other than meeting Devin, Michaela's husband, I'm, I haven't been really crazy about this trip. 
it was just from Las Vegas to London direct, no non-stop or layover, it'd actually be fine. But it's not. And tomorrow we fly out from Gatwick. In a plane that I don't really care for because there is no... You can't put your luggage in front of you. you have, it has to go in the overhead for landings and takeoffs. It's really inconvenient. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah correction on the time. We gained an hour from Frankfurt. So it's only 4.51 right now. So there's still a chance we can get to the hotel by 6. Do our check-in, drop off the baggage, and then catch a cab at 6.30. Piccadilly line, the blue line, and on our way to Rose Court. Black cabbie it, because we don't know where this is. We um, tried to scout it out when we were here a week and a half ago, but couldn't find it. And we're so not going to even try to. We're not even going to try to. We're going to it trust. It looks like it's the district line. It, it looks like it's near the London Eye. Yeah, which is the district line. But so, from there, I don't know where. We're not going to bother. We're not, yeah. <sighs> we have so, faith in black cabs. They always they know, where know they're what going. they're doing. They know where they're going. I've been to almost all the markets here, so I know where those are. <laughs> all right, we're on our way, and I absolutely love London, e even though we're only here for one night. I don't know I why. I did it, it, find it, out we, when we got off at Earl's Court, I made a wrong turn. I yes. climbed stairs. Anyway, and I'm actually fine with it because right now I'm enjoying the smell. I can smell the gas and the diesel and everything in the city. However, beyond all that, I can smell the ocean. I know what it smells like. I grew up next to it, mm. and I can still smell it. The window's down right now, and I can smell it. Well, without <laughs> being insulting, I don't smell the VO, so. Yeah, that's true. I, I will have to say, I'm happy to be back in London. And. Yeah, people here. It babe. just, I just feel like almost home Thank again. Thank you. Thank you. Almost home again. <laughs> Near the London Eye. Want to walk uh, the last quarter mile? Yeah, sure, we'll walk. Yeah, okay. Because you are not allowed to get in there, you know, drive there. That's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Thank you. Do you want an arm? No, I got it. I need the food. Where are we at? Row D, 97 and 98. Okay. Oh. Hello. Hello, it's a car. Oh, it's a courtroom. Oh, how cool is this? It's actually a chamber. It's a cinema. Wow. This is nice. Well, it makes sense. It's a courtroom. This is lovely. This is a brilliance. They didn't have to redo the stage. Come on. We're enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. I'm glad we're here. Mm -hmm. So we can either cab it or we can underground it. We'll just walk across the 
bridge to Westminster and take the Victoria Line back to Earl's Court. Whichever line it is. I think it's Vic no, not Victoria. The Green Line. Elizabeth? No. I think it's the Green Line. Whatever. I read the book many years ago. Oh. I've seen multiple versions of the film and then the TV version. So I'm really looking forward to the play. And again, we're seeing Witness for the Prosecution by Agatha Christie, written back in 19, was it 38? Oh, probably the mid 40s. Mid 40s. Okay, husband's getting upset because this table flips out. See that? It becomes a writing table. Isn't that cool? And it's leather. It's leather bound. And then over here, there's a drawer. There's a drawer. Isn't that cool? so you wouldn't open it. And the husband's upset. They should have sealed it shut so the people like you wouldn't be playing with the furniture. Play last night was absolutely wonderful. Witness to the prosecution, excellent. If you're in London, go see it. Let's see. Left the hotel about quarter to six, got into a black cab, took it to Victoria. From Victoria, we took the Gatwick Express, which only took 30 minutes. And we are now checked in at the we're checked in at the lounge our suitcase already went through so the lounge here is really nice it's a lot nicer than Heathrow so I'm liking this lounge so I got a full English and Walter looks like he got a full English also oh no it's not a full English not even close <laughs> He's gonna go get some ice for his water. And the water's way over in the copy side, but the ice is in the middle. Well, the ice is in the middle over here. We have fruits here, pastries, full English. Hello. We have juices, wine, champagne, every hard liquor you can think of. Oh, they have Fanta. Gate 19, they have these chairs right here. Handicap chairs. They are so uncomfortable. It's good, it's got a good lumbar, but the ass? No. And my feet, my feet aren't really touching the, my feet aren't really touching the ground. They're a little too high. <laughs> Not good waiting room chairs. Again, we are at Gatwick, waiting to board. 
the, the BA lounge is actually I think, nicer than the, the Heathrow lounge. The BA lounge was wonderful. It was a lot nicer than Heathrow. So Walter's correct. It is nicer. But getting here? No, we got a yeah. black cab. We got to do an express. And I don't know how much that express thing cost. Maybe it was $20. Probably in that range. So our oyster cards are almost empty again. Yeah, who knows? We, did, we didn't add anything didn't to the add oyster anything. cards. I but did, we used them the whole time we were here. Yeah. So. I added 100 the last time we were here to both cards. So I don't know. Well, I'll find out what the balance is the next time we come to London. Which yeah. <laughs> won't be until next year. I spent almost all the pounds. I have 22 pounds left. And I think we got, we had and, 500? And, oh, we... Five, six hundred pounds? Oh, you withdrew 500. Yeah, you withdrew 500. Five or six. And so, anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah. The reason we have so many pounds is because the last trip, my ATM card didn't work, but M's did. So every time we saw an ATM card, I made her withdraw the maximum amount. And I told her, we'll pay you back when we get back to the state. I just don't want to be out of cash. So she hung on to the cash and I basically charged everything. I don't like that. I don't like not having cash. <sighs> Walter has a public announcement. Okay, we just had an epiphany. And that is that all of the people on this flight are going to Vegas, where we're just going home. So, yeah, I, it, it's interesting. There, there, there's excitement, and you can see it on people's faces, and they're talking about what they're going to do in Vegas. And we're just sitting here thinking, oh, we're going home. So, yeah, it's very interesting. Uh, I'm going to do hadn't laundry. Really, hadn't really seen that before. So... Yeah, it's a it's an interesting thing to watch. This part of so, the this part of the trip, I'm gonna try to stay awake. Probably gonna take a little bit of a nap, but stay awake. So when we land, it'll be in mid. It'll be about mid afternoon. Yeah, we're landing in the afternoon. All right, this is the Heathrow plane. I hate this configuration. The window aisle is fine if you're a couple, and we couldn't get these. They were available yesterday, but <clears throat> the gate agent couldn't book them. I don't know why, she was an idiot. And then these, the configuration is backwards. I can't sit backwards. Yes, yes. So the couples are all split up. Very odd. I hate this configuration. Anyway, this goes down. Comes a sleeper. But she has to crawl over me in order to get out. Ridiculous. Ariel? Yes. They haven't booked a hotel yet. If you were <laughs> don't don't panic for them, okay? If you were recommending where they should stay, which two properties would you recommend? The Bellagio, number one. Number two, probably South Pole. Well, you want to be in the center? No, they want to, they want to be. Okay. Um, Park, Park MGM? Park MGM would be okay. Park MGM is pretty cool. Is that good. on that the strip? That would, is that yeah, it is. Home? It's on the strip. It's on the strip. Yeah. It used to, it used to have a different name. It just changed its name to Park MGM recently. It's right next to the stadium. But the Bellagio is right in the center. What? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right next to it. Okay, so that's near the R. Yeah. Don't stay at Caesars. It's too no. expensive. Don't stay at Caesars. The restaurants there, the restaurants there, they're, they're high end, but they're horrible food. Yeah, the, the food they is want to charge you $100 for a steak that's only worth $20. Yeah. Yeah. We're still, we haven't even taken off yet. And we're waiting for a 15-year-old child going to Las Vegas. What 15-year-old child goes to Las Vegas unaccompanied? Okay, our, our arrival time now is 1.12. Oh, look at that. It just changed to 
Yeah, I don't so believe that. It keeps changing. It will be 2.13 by the time we land, get our luggage. We, It'll be 3 o'clock. If we took off now, it would so, be 2.13. We, we might know, as well we have dinner. No, we don't know when we're taking off. Yeah. So we might as well have dinner when we land. We could do that. <coughs> These are Walter's two friends, yeah, Tom and Zoe. These are Tom and Zoe. Say hi. Hi, guys. <laughs> You'll now be on YouTube. <laughs> unless he cuts you out because you don't want to be on don't YouTube. Don't cut us out. Don't cut us out. <laughs> don't cut you out? Okay. okay. We won't cut you out. <laughs> Walter's been talking to head off for over an hour already. Immigration, three o'clock by the time we claim our luggage and who knows? Who cares? At least when you get to immigration you go straight through. We have to go in the really long queue. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Americans do that right. In England, if you're from every country and England, you go in the really long queue. Yes. If you're from every other country, you go in the little queue. Yeah, we saw that. Yeah. We saw that. You went through the little queue. We went through the little queue. <laughs> well, we stood in the big queue. No, we were in the... No, we were in the big queue. We were in the big queue with you. We were in the big queue. And then it didn't like my passport. It didn't like oh. your passport. I went oh, right through. You went through the electronic gates. Yeah. Um, we normally when we travel with the children, we can't go through the gates. We have to stand in the really oh. big queue. You're kidding. No, it won't take children on the four feet. <gasps> so we can't, we can't go through the little, oh. the little that's, big queue. That's we have child to discrimination. Through, we have to go through the big, big queue. <laughs> So, so you got three of them, so while one is crying, yeah. and the other one is pawing you. <laughs> and, and another one's running around. Yeah. And yeah, they just, we, we've seen just, it And they just times. smile and wait for something. Yeah, I don't know how, where my parents got the patience. And there were only two of us. Well, there were three eventually. There were three, yeah, but then we were the babies. Six on, uh, get on board, and apparently we're waiting for around 15. Uh, they are coming in. 15, what happened to 10? Short, it was 11 a moment ago. This terminal is extraordinarily busy at the moment. Uh, British Airways, our keen to fly to wait but uh, I'm um, because uh, Vegas flights are completely fully booked, looked fully foreseeable. Future. Uh, so it would be a shame to leave them behind. Um, I, I'm not aware of anything else, although well, actually just on our screens in front of us, there is a new departure time that's just flashed up, and uh, it's now saying 10 minutes from now, so 20 past 11.